What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. You know, when I started collecting DC statues, everybody was saying, you got to get the Bane Premium format by Sideshow. So I went ahead and did it. We got the exclusive number 626 out of 800. Can't wait to get this guy out of the box. So let's get to it. All right, so here's the art box. You have Gotham City on the back. You see Batman on top of one of the buildings. Very cool. It wraps around both sides. And then you have Bane on the front. I love that logo. I love how this art box looks. You know, it's funny. This was one of those pieces that has always been like, how is it still available on Sideshow? The exclusive was sold out for a while, but the regular one was available up until just recently. As soon as I was going to pull the trigger on it, bam, it finally sold out. Luckily, my boy Adrian, who I've been buying a lot of statues locally from, he had the exclusive for sale, so I went ahead and scooped it up from him. So I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and start getting them at the box. All right, so here's the base of this guy. I really like the bottom where you got his, pretty much the full mask is his base. You got the addition size. And then here you have the bat signal. This thing is amazing. I like how big this is. I love how Bane stepped into it and crushed it. it looks awesome. All right, Bane's body is pretty much one piece, just missing the hands and the head. But he looks amazing. He's got these huge boots, a lot of detail sculpted in, a lot of weathering. I like his utility belt and that kind of uh, shiny, glossy front part. The anatomy is crazy. His muscles are huge, bulging out. He's got this tank top on. All right, then we have his two massive hands, huge fingers. He got these gloves on, kind of like workout gloves, but metal on the front, <laughs> giving off juggernaut vibes with these huge hands. All right, here we go. We have the head sculpts, amazing head sculpts here. I mean, this is one of the best sideshow mask head sculpts i've seen man i love how this looks the mask looks amazing so much detail very menacing looking mask then this is the exclusive which this is not an exclusive or fail most people like the regular mask anyway where his mouth is covered this one gives you the option of showing his teeth kind of got his bottom teeth gritting more than his top his eyes look awesome though you see the skin is all pink and damaged with his red eyes it looks great too. Don't get me twist. Don't get it wrong. Then lastly, we have this pack with the tube that brings the venom from his backpack into uh, into the back of his head here. So very cool. We're gonna go ahead and magnetize these in. All right. So there we have it. So actually, the pack plugs into the top of his back, into his bicep, and then into his forearm. And there are two small little pieces like this that connect to the back of his head and then into the pack. So, pretty simple assembly, right? Because you just have the body, the base, these two little pieces that go on the base here, his two hands, and then the heads, sculpts, and the pack. Amazing piece, so much presence. Damn, I'm really loving this one, man, for real. He looks huge. Such a comic accurate looking Bane. Let's grab some measurements on this guy. So, it looks like the top of the tube is actually his tallest point. So this guy stands at about 25 inches. The width of the base is about 11 and a half or so, 12 inches, which is gonna be his depth. His width is a little bit more. He's about 13 inches with his arms sticking out and everything. But this was a, an old school piece that you got a lot of bang for your buck. He was $700 retail. Uh, you were able to get him, like I said, directly from Sideshow just up until like two weeks ago. Um, but you know people tend to sell them on the aftermarket because you have new Banes coming out You have one-third scale ones which look amazing from Prime one But uh, I have a quarter scale DC line I'm putting together so he had to go in there man absolutely love how he turned out into the review let's look at the history of Bane all right guys so Bane first appeared back in January of 1993 in his own graphic novel titled Vengeance of Bane Bane was a character that was created by Chuck Dixon Doug Moench and Graham Nolan he was most known for breaking Batman's back in his first storyline creating the nightfall version of Batman where Azrael takes over the mantle 
then he loses his mind, but that's another story. Anyway, Bane has been depicted in multiple forms of media from the comic books. He's been adapted into the Batman animated series. He was even in two different live action movies. One was the Joel Schumacher Batman and Robin movie where he played just this hulking mindless beast. Then you had his portrayal by Tom Hardy in the Christopher Nolan Batman The Dark Knight movie series where he played more of the strategist which he was most known for when he first appeared in the comics. He was also depicted in the Arkham video games with a different look but nonetheless still a badass Bane. Alright guys, so looking at the base, I like this circular base. It's kind of got these bricks in this circular formation. It's where the, uh, the bat signal rests at. And Bane has come through and destroyed the bat signal. I really like these bases that tell a story, and I think this one is an awesome one. Uh, the paint is pretty similar on the bottom of the base all the way up to the signal. You have this kind of grayish building look to it. But a lot of sculpted in details, cracks in the bricks, obviously the damage to the bat signal. The bat signal itself on the inside looks great. So the base is simple and it's well done. Bane has a lot of detail. His boots, first of all, like I said, they're humongous. He's got the steel toe going on, a lot of weathering, a lot of wear, a lot of sculpted in damage. He's got the buckles laced up going to the front. He's got like the, uh, the back of the boot with so much details, these little bolts and different textures. The pants are mixed media. Like I said, I, I don't think I was even aware they were mixed media. They're tight forming. It's not uh, something that hides any of the sculpt. They only are really baggy, kind of where the boots meet. Otherwise, you can kind of see his huge quads through the uh, pants here. And I guess he would need to wear kind of uh, parachute pants, right? He's such a big guy. And especially if he's using venom and he's gaining you know, mass. So they're black, but you have these hints of blue along the sides here uh, too. I thought that was cool. He's got this utility belt, and I mentioned I really like how they did the like kind of glass surface on the, on the front uh, part of the belt buckle there. His upper torso is massive. His muscles are bulging. Everything, his traps, shoulders, biceps, his triceps are humongous. Huge forearms, huge chest. You can see he's flexing. He's got the top part of the chest bulging outwards. Looks crazy. Huge, humongous arms huge hands and that neck is bulging up to the mask I love it man you have no seam because of his mask got these huge veins poking out everywhere the skin tone is on point the veins look on point a lot of intricacies as well in the venom packs where it connects to his forearm here you got a lot of details you have screws and just a lot of sculpted uh, details went into that I like how his tank top's got that different texture. And I like the damage like on the top of his neck. You can't really see it when it's posed, but you can see like his skin is wounded where the stuff's being injected into him. He looks amazing. He looks like one of the one of the rogues that can actually break the bat. Amazing piece. So much presence. I think the portrait sitting on top looks great. Uh, let's switch out just to see what the exclusive looks like, although I don't really plan on displaying it. It does look menacing though. He, you can see more emotion and more anger in his face. And then when, when you can see his eyes like that too, it looks like he's bugging out. Looks awesome, guys. Yeah, uh, everyone was right. I definitely love how this PF looks. I think uh, this one is definitely aged extremely well. That's classic Sideshow stuff right there, guys. Amazing. So you guys have seen me do the one-third scale Arkham Knight's Bane, the Venom Bane. That was more of a video game look. This is the classic comic book look. I want to hear your thoughts on it in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel by hitting the gem to the left. And if you want to see more statue unboxing and reviews, go ahead and hit the playlist to the right. Thanks for watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.